That's how Kendrick does it, right? Oh, hold up. I had something in my mouth. Pause, 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 pause. pause. She went everywhere, bro. Oh man, I got stories to tell. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, yo. Denzel Curry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, There's always that one guy in the audience. You went and saw Denzel Curry how long ago? Uh, damn, it'd be like probably like a week ago now. By the way, this, last Thursday. this is Jungle Beats Radio, yo, the we... Australia's plug to the best hip-hop in the world. Um, And Denzel Curry was in Melbourne, Australia. Yes, he was last Thursday, I believe. I went down to see him because I'm a massive fan. First time friends? I seen him. Whoa. First time? Bruh. Mm-hmm. Bruh. Mm-hmm. So I went there, got there super early, and like, before it even started, there was a DJ hyping the crowd up, and the crowd already started like, getting their little circles and pushing each other and jumping around, getting crazy, just to the DJ playing. And the kids ended up being like, oh man, can we play our own shit? The kids were like running off. Really? Going the, yeah, playing their own shit. The and the fans skip- were coming in and yeah. giving me and the AOX. Yeah, yeah, and they'll just stop like skipping their songs every single minute. Like they wouldn't let a track finish because you know how kids are, man. <laughs> they're like, they're like, oh, let's play a minute of Bad and Bougie by Margos. Oh, oh, no way, let's play a minute of Ended Up by Travis Scott. Oh, back to Bad and Bougie. Like, they're just like that sort of shit. By the way, Migos now the number one track in the US, Bad and Bougie. Bro, shout out to Childish Gambino, Donald Glover for yeah, letting me check out that dope ass song. It's pretty dope. What was it called? I don't know, but Bad and Bougie. If that's the Migos. one. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Migos, but I shout out to them for doing their thing because that track does bang. I mean, I don't like them in particular because their style is very, mm, but you know that track bangs. And that's the music video when they're in the when they're in like the ice, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fucking dope cinematic uh, cinematography. It's yeah, it's pretty. Please dope. Please continue, Denzel. Curry. Anyway, so I got there. Uh, start off with a, a rapper. Sorry, I can't remember your name. He's from Cam Sydney. Yeah, from Sydney, I believe. And uh, he he rocked it. He rocked it real well. He had some hard shit. Had some good bars. He got the, he got the crowd going. Uh, his DJ was like half hype man, half DJ. He got in the crowd as well for a bit. So every, everyone's already getting into it. And you know that that's sort of. By the time it's over, Denzel Curry. You know he hypes himself up. His his DJ, who's like really good friends with, pretty much his best friend. He's getting the crowd going. It's packed to the max now. Um, sold out. I'm, I'm yeah yeah sold out. Whew. And I'm um, I'm a uh, and they they changed venue at the last like a day before it even started because they yeah. wanted to have more people and they oh, sold they sold out for the last, last few tickets because heaps more people want tickets. So they awesome. went from Toff to change to uh, to Max Watts. Mm. And I was about four four from the front on the side because I don't want to be part of the big mosh. But then Denzel Curry comes on, and he starts off with a uh, fuck. What did he start off with? I think it was Narcotics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hard track. As soon as that started, I go right in the fucking middle, man. I go right up the front. I go right there. Well, not like I was like two for the front, but like and everyone was started going crazy. And then he like he it was great. He did a good mixture of his albums. He played a lot from um from uh, 32 Zero. He played a, a few tracks like Parents, uh, and one of the other tracks from uh, Nostalgia 64. And he played all the bangers like Story No Title, ULT. ULT. Oh. oh man, he played all the bangers. He even played um. <laughs> Flying Nimbus 305, which is so damn hard track. and like, So he went all of his discography. Yeah, but the best thing about Denzel that I thought was that he was just so good with his his short interactions with the crowd. Like, in what way? Like, he was... And he was... Well, first off, like, in terms of his rapping, his aggression, it's just as good live than when he is in his albums. He's just sitting there, nice. bar for bar, not, not missing a check. And then there'd be stages... And the crowd's going mental as well, man. Like, by the end of that concert, I, I would feel like I was going to pass out. I smelled the worst of it smelt my life. Everyone else did around me. Like, I was just up there just having the time of my life. And, like... How was the crowd? Was the crowd kind of... The crowd very was... Very aggressive? Like, you thought, yeah, mm. I couldn't really fucking breathe? Or is it okay? Oh, yeah. The crowd was very aggressive. But at the same time, like, say, if someone fell over and knocked off, everyone would go to help them up. Like, oh, everyone was, nice, like... Nice, everyone nice. was really aggressive. But no one was aggressive in the sense that, like, you know, they'd want to fucking kill somebody. <laughs> but, uh... But then it got to the stage where Denzel was getting in the crowd, everyone was getting the crowd, and he was like, yo, what? Split the crowd, split the crowd. He's like, split the crowd up. In the middle, when I fucking start this motherfucking song, you're going to fucking run the fuck in the middle <laughs> as fast dope. as you fucking can. That's so great. And I was like, oh, and then like we all just fucking rushed in. Everyone's going fucking nuts, jumping around. And I can't remember what track it was. And then he ended up like stopping and playing like other tracks in between, and you know, and doing it, having to fun with the crowd. And there was a there was a stage also where you got like this guy on the track, the guy guy on the stage was fucking huge Asian dude. Shout out Richie, I think that was his name. And he jumped in the crowd, and it was really bad because the first he time jumped he, in the crowd, how big fir- was he? Pretty big. The first time he jumped, no one called me, just belly flopped. <laughs> <off the ground. laughs> and Denzel Curry stopped. He's like, yo. How the fuck you let this man fucking die? Like, yo, yo, get back up here. Get the, get the fuck back up, Richie. 
We're doing that again. You motherfuckers are going to catch him. So you know what? Starts the truck in, jumps on. We catch him and crowd surf this fat motherfucker for about three minutes. You know, three I, minutes of crowd surfing. Holy shit. And after that, he got back on stage and stayed up there for the rest of the fucking concert. He was Hype a fan? Man. He was a fan. And you know what? By the end of the... Like, that's the, that's the thing. From the start to the finish, he kept... <laughs> from the start to the finish, he kept getting people onto the stage. Like, that's he saw a girl. Dope. It's like, he saw this girl. I was like, you're so beautiful. And he's like, come on stage, come on stage. And she was just sitting there all shy, just filming it all, and gave him a hug and shit. And it's like, you guys, you guys. And oh, that's right. He um he did Ultimate twice in a row, because Ultimate's the hardest track, and that's when the crowd was mental. Then he goes, look, 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 I'm willing to fucking pay you $100 a bar for bar. You can spit Ultimate without fucking up. So he got someone on stage. Uh, he also got someone on stage to do Suicide Boys, South, uh, South Suicide... Uh, what track was it? Southside Suicide. Which is with uh with Puyo, which is my favorite uh, Suicide Boys track, and um the guy fucked it up, he couldn't do it. But then he got a guy on stage to do Ultimate, and he's like they're going like so basically they put on the stage. Dun, 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 are they dun. doing it? Are they rapping it to each other? No, he's, he rap, he's rapping it, it in a microphone to Denzel, and Denzel's like right next to his face, listen to every single word. And first guy, about twenty seconds in, no, 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 you failed. Off, off, get your ass off the stage. Next, next, you, you, get up here. I don't even fuck. You know the lyrics? Fucking come up here. 10 seconds, bang, gone. Next guy. And like, about the fourth guy, there was this guy come on, this big ass black dude. And it's like, he just like took the mic and said, Yo, I'm fucking ready for this shit. And Denzel was like, This man's a rapper. This, I don't give a fuck. This man knows his shit. And the guy spat so hard. And he got about a minute and a half in. And Denzel was like, I'm sorry, man. Like, he just missed that one bit. Like, he didn't, he wasn't being nice or anything. He was like, Nah, man, you just missed that one bit. Sorry, man. Like, but, you know, props to you, man. They, like, hugged it out and she went back in. And then was like, all right, let's sing this motherfucking song properly. And he just did that shit again. That's awesome. That sounds like just, such a great experience. It was so fun, man. And then at the end, at the end of it, when people were leaving, he came back out and started signing fan shit, getting That's photos dope. with the fans. I, I, I had a big, quick conversation with him. I'm like, look, man, you fucking, I really enjoyed your thing tonight. Like, I love you. And it was cool because during the whole concert, he was, like, really aggressive, really getting the crowd excited. But afterwards... All that is gone, and he's super calm, collected, hmm. and put his thoughts together. Like he was not anything like it was then to what That's he was, and having fun. And there was a fan that, like got him a little present, like a little like laser eye sort of thing that he can wear, and he's like checking out, laughing about. Like it was just, the interaction with the fans was beautiful, man. So it was definitely one of my one of my best experiences. That sounds like su- yeah, such it a was great it was great, man. It was really good. Such a fun night. Oh, uh, but you. You, though, you oh. went to Chance the Rapper. Yeah, I went to Chip, but, but damn, they didn't even catch him. <laughs> then he just, was he okay? The the guy uh, who belly flopped? Yeah, he was all right. Like, his glasses fell off, and straight away, one guy picked him up and gave him to him. Like, it was really good. Like, it was a rough crowd. Like, I had bruises and shit all over me, but, like, people still cared for each other. Damn. And I've ne- I don't think I've been. Normally, when there's a rough crowd, people don't give a fuck. But, like, you know, people who are drunk, the, the drunk people were there, but no one was at the point where no one got dragged off. No one was kicked out. Everyone was, like, at the stage of enjoyment where we all just got along. It was. It was a great experience, man. It's great to hear. Nah. It's great to hear. Shout out, Richie. Sorry for calling you a fat motherfucker, man. <laughs> right, and it got to the stage where, like, the last 10 people, he was like, nah, like, I gotta go now. Sorry, I'd love to do this, but, like, I just, you know, I gotta do Because he had an after party to go. Well, that's understandable. He's already, you know, done his stuff. He don't, he don't want to do it. Yeah, he's long, made so. other commitments. Exactly, exactly. So, and everyone respected that as well. No one got angry about it. I was like, dope. You know, people treat him like a person. No one treat him like a, like, you know, like an artist. Like an artist. <laughs> That's funny. I, I think it's true. I feel like, yeah. the, like well, that's why like I never try and like I never try and get photos with people. Like I only will if I feel like they're a friend. Mm-hmm. If there's someone new that I I listen to their music but I don't know them personally, I think it's weird for me to get a photo with someone well, I barely even know. Do you ever know an artist personally? What do you mean personally? As in like just know them as a friend, like see them all the time. So you know, you can, that means you can't ask like for photos from pretty much any artist. Well, that yeah, right? by that rule. Well, yeah, I just, I just, I just want to be that person that they look at and they see like, oh, this guy just doesn't want to get a photo of me. He just wants to have a conversation with me. He doesn't want to use me for social media just to show that he's with me. I feel you. That's just how I feel. Like, I just want to, when I, when I'm with an artist, like, I just want to let them, let them feel like that I'm just, just, just a friend of theirs, just someone that's like happy to look into their more about their work, craft, and what they're doing with their lives instead of just their image. Understandable, respectable. Yeah. 